Hi kids, it's Mr. Bolonio, and I'm here to give you a quick lesson on drawing yourself. Now, we're not going to be drawing stick people, but I'll teach you how to draw a person using basic shapes first. So get out your sketchbook, get a pencil, and let's get started. So I have my piece of paper here, a pencil, and little Mr. Bologna's here to help me get ready. First start off by writing your name at the bottom corner. Then remember, whenever we start a sketch, kids, we start with basic shapes. So I'm going to start with the head shape. It could either be a circle or an oval. Make sure you're starting towards the top of the page. Then, underneath the head, I want you to draw two lines for the neck. Underneath the neck, a rectangle for the body. Now we're going to carefully draw the arms and the legs. For all of those parts, you want to make a bendable rectangular shape. So when you look at how I'm drawing the arm, it's not just one line, it's at least two and I closed it off. I even made the hand a circle shape and I'll add the fingers later. I'm doing the same thing for the other arm. But it's artist's choice as to how you want the arms. Do you want both of them up, both of them down? In this case, I have one going up and one going down. For the legs, I am just drawing two long rectangles. For the shoes, I'm going to draw two ovals. Now I'm all set to draw the fingers. Don't just draw straight lines for the fingers like a scarecrow. They kind of look like hot dogs. One, two, three, four, five hot dogs. We all know they're not hot dogs, they're fingers. But you get the idea. Time for me to draw my face details. First, I'll start with the eyes. I'm still drawing basic shapes, so I'm drawing two circles, and within that circle, a smaller circle for the pupil of the eyes. I'm going to fill them in with my pencil. Can't forget the eyebrows, so I'm just going to scribble very lightly two lines above the eyes for my eyebrows. For my nose, I'm just going to draw a little bump Artists do their noses differently. It is up to you however you want to do it. And I'm going to give myself a big smile. So I'm doing that with a curved line. I'm going to draw another curved line underneath so that I can show my teeth and my tongue. When you draw the ears, take note. The top of the ear is aligned with the eye. The bottom of the ear is aligned with the nose. Everyone has different hairstyles. For me, it's pretty easy. My hair is very short. So I'm just going to fill in a short little shape from ear to ear. Take a moment and think about how you're going to draw your hairstyle because everyone's hairstyle is different. Now I can't forget a very important detail to make this look like me and that's my glasses so right now I'm just going to carefully draw the shape of my glasses over my eyes I'm now going to take this moment to fix it up a little bit erase certain lines that I started off with, but I now know I don't need them now that I'm about to draw certain details. As I draw these details, obviously don't copy me. Take a look at the outfit you're wearing now. Are there any details you would like to add to your drawing? Or would you rather place certain details of other clothing on you? That's your choice as an artist. You decide what you want to add to the picture of yourself.
finish your pencil drawing. If there's time left in class, you can start outlining and coloring. But if there's not much time, you can wait till next art class. But make sure to post your artwork on Seesaw. See you next time!